Good morning. Today is Thursday, December 3rd. For lunch today, there's mozzarella pizza dippers with tater tots and marinara sauce, or beef taco salad, or crispy chicken nuggets, or beef hot dog on a bun. And today we announce the winner of our No Shave November contest. The main winner is the food pantry in Wisconsin Rapids, because altogether, everybody donated a total of 129 non-perishable food items. And we're also giving a shout out to Ms. Brooks Advisory in the seventh grade for being the top donating advisory. And the grand prize winner is Mr. Kirchmeyer. Congratulations for winning No Shave November. And again, we don't have any student or staff birthdays today, so we'll try again tomorrow. Today's thought of the day is a quote that's been attributed to an anonymous Navy SEAL. He said, under pressure, you don't rise to the occasion, you sink to the level of your training. To share why that's important, I'd like to share with you a story from Colonel Alan Parrington of the United States Air Force. In the 1990s, Colonel Parrington was commander of the Air Force Academy Flying Training Program, in which they taught about 80% of their cadets to freefall parachute. He noted, Congress was always asking us why we spent money training so many cadets a skill that few would ever use, given the fact that over half the graduates would not fly and less than 5% of them would ever eject or bail out of an airplane. The answer I told them came from the cadets themselves during their first two or three jumps. They were so scared, they remembered nothing of their experience and only did what had been instinctively drilled into them during their training. In so doing, they learned to believe in their training, their leadership, their equipment, their service, and themselves, which extended later into combat itself. I can't tell you the number of letters I received 5, 10, 15 years later, how graduates related handling combat stress to jumping out of that airplane the first time. Graduate studies over the years showed the parachuting training as the highest valued academy instruction cadets received during their four years there, regardless of their job, their rank, their race, their sex, or any other demographic you choose. That's no doubt what Navy SEAL sinking to the level of your training is all about. So the key phrase here again from our anonymous Navy SEAL is that under pressure, you don't rise to the occasion, but you fall to the level of your training. One thing that many in the armed forces add is that's why we train so hard. We've talked before how during middle school, you don't have the same pressure that you will for grades or other academic things when you have in high school. Here, we have the blessing of time to go ahead and train and actually get good at things. So again, I've shared with you that several students have said, yeah, I'm not gonna take middle school so seriously. I'm going to wait until I get to the high school when the pressure's on, and then I'm gonna go ahead and bring it. Well, as our story is from the Navy SEALs, from the Air Force, any branch of the Armed Forces, if you wait to get your training in until you're under fire, it's too late. You've already lost that battle. But if you take the time here in middle school to get good and some confidence at these skills of working hard when things get difficult and going ahead and tracking your assignments and going ahead and just making sure everything's in as best you can, those don't come overnight. If you put the years in and you put the time in to go ahead and learn to do that now, when the pressure does come on, it's going to be second nature. You're going to have confidence and you're going to be successful. So today's challenge is to rise to the occasion of getting better at your skills while the pressure is off. Do you need to get better at tracking your notebook? Do you need to get better at going ahead and reading for a longer period? Whatever it is, choose one of those things and get better at it. And then when it comes time and when the pressure comes on, you're gonna be ready. All right, you take care.